Hello everybody, welcome to the October version of the Hinterberg Public House Craft Beer Club. Today I have Kelly Hi. joining us. Uh, she's just starting her birthday week, <laughs> um, so I thought I'd have her over for some beers and try some new stuff. Um, it's also Oktoberfest. Normally we would be at Bo's Oktoberfest um, around this time or we'll have or just had completed it. Um, and we're, we we didn't sling corn dogs this year, so um, we thought we'd wear the hats and have a little bit of a October fish, uh, October fest ish um, theme going on with the beers that I chose. Um, so we have um, a beer from town. Um, they're um, Big Money Hell's Lager, something um, a red IPA from Stalwart, a. Um, um, uh, Schwartz beer, right? A Schwartz beer from Covered Bridge and uh, pumpkin beer from Flying Monkey. So we're gonna start with uh, Big Money. Here, I'll okay. this first. And of course, Kelly had to have the Stein because you know it's Oktoberfest in our backyard right now, and it's her birthday, so whatever she wants. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you, that's the excuse. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. That's really nice. So, yes. town is located in Whitby, Ontario. Um, town Brewery, sorry. Um, and this is their Big Money Hell's Lager. It's 5%. Um, yeah, it's... It's nice and light. Really, yeah, really crisp. Yep. Fresh. Yep. Can we get this at the OCBO? I don't believe so. You can okay. buy all of these. You can buy uh, Brewery Direct. Okay. Um, this one you might be able to get at the LCBO. The other ones, I'm. I don't think so. Think so. No. Yeah. It's good to know. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I really like that. Yeah, it's really. Okay. Um, yeah. Fresh. And. Uh, mm. Definitely nice and light. Yeah, it feels like fall. Like yeah. It, yeah. Like it's perfect. Yeah, I feel like I should be, we should, I'm about to, it, yeah, yeah, oh, you know? <laughs> Just, uh, yeah, enough of these. Mm. Yeah, I like that one. So, you're probably wondering where my, my little, my normal sidekick is. He's busy today, and, uh, and so Kelly's subbing in. Yep, um, subbing yeah. in. Yeah. I'm Dan. <laughs> All right, so the next one is from Stalwart Brewing. Um, they're located just outside of Ottawa. I always forget where they're located. Carlton Place. I never leave the city. I think I've been to Carlton Place once, but I've never been to the brewery. Someday I'll make it out there. Um, anyway, so this is a red IPA. It is a strong beer. It's, I think it's eight, no, seven, seven percent, um, and it's 62 IBUs. Um, have you done that one? Yes, ma'am. All right. So, it's a nice sort of dark reddish, mm. it's hard to see in this light, but. It's got a nice, um, um, yeah, that's cool. aroma to it. Is it? Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, like it doesn't look the way, it doesn't smell the way it looks, that's for sure. It's very piney. Like it smells like an IPA. Tastes like an, oh, it's very hoppy. Oh, that's nice. Mm. That wow. is delicious. The zigzagger. Yep, I like that too. Mm -hmm. So they have a lot of fun beers. Um, they've been around for a while now. Um, they've carried few of their things in the past and I've definitely drank it at other locations <laughs> um, as one does yeah but I, I think that they do have some things in the LCBO okay um, I just don't remember I don't know what I don't really shop at the LCBO Why would you? well yeah. well for other things yes yeah for liquor I guess yeah, yeah. But for beer, I usually get it from our bottle shop at the Hintonburg Public House. <laughs> That's where I buy it. 
There you um, go. Yeah. Well, maybe that's where I'll have to get the well, this first is, beer from. Well, yeah. So we have limited supply. So the um, limited supply of each of these that are on our menu. Okay. Until they're not. Until they're gone. Yeah. Yeah. Like this one too. Yeah, it's a surprising color though. Like I know it's a red IPA, but I don't know that I've ever had a red IPA before. No. Um, that's interesting. My dad would like that one. There you go. Maybe I'll just have to bring him over to camp this weekend. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and the next one is the um, Schwartz beer by Covered Bridge. We went on a brew donkey tour a few weeks ago and I tried this one. Um, I love Schwartz beers, so as soon as I saw it, I was very excited. So got it in for the beer club, share it with you. It's a, it's a unique um, style of beer, um, lots of like coffee, chocolate, that sort of a dark beer, a dark lager. Um, and uh, they brewed this um, during, I think this was like, everybody put out like a, a COVID type beer or something. Okay. And so this is their lockdown lager. Um, yeah. Yeah, and it says uh, say it limited edition. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, so this one's much darker than the last one. If you can see, can't see in yours. Nope. <laughs> That's why I did mine in the past. Um, yeah, so it uh, mm, smells really nice. It smells like fall. Like, it smells yes. like that sort of earthy. And for coffee. a dark beer, it doesn't have that heavy taste to it. Yeah, it's it's as a light light mouth feel for sure. Yeah, and um, yeah, I like this. I have an Uber order there. I'm just gonna. Hopefully, it's still recording. Technical difficulties. <laughs> oh yeah, it's still recording. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't sure if we should just keep going or yeah. Anyway, we'll keep going. Technology, I don't know how to use it. <laughs> um, yeah, I love this beer. Yes. So what do you think? I like it. And I'm not a fan of dark beers, but this is still light for a dark beer. Mm -hmm. I just love, like, I think this would be really nice at brunch with, a, oh. with some eggs. Some bacon. Because it, yeah, like the, just the chocolate and yep. the coffee, a substitute for coffee maybe. Yeah, I like this one. So what are you going to do for your birthday? Anything what fun am this I week? What are you not doing? doing? <laughs> <laughs> there's dinner plans. There's pedicures. Ooh. There's winter tire changes Ooh, happening. That's exciting. <laughs> <laughs> and an early Thanksgiving dinner with my parents. Nice. Because I'm going to go to the cottage for Thanksgiving. So Good. Yeah. Fun. Uh, I'm coming for dinner yes. one of the nights. So that's exciting. Yep. Um, yeah, so the next beer is a pumpkin lager. It's from Flying Monkey. Um, they <clears throat> um, they always have these wacky cans, so I'm just going to zoom up. Um, and Oh, you're having a guest appearance. Dan. <laughs> Hello, Dan. <laughs> Hi. You want to try the pumpkin ale with us? I know they all wanted to see me wave. Cause that's exactly. <laughs> no. Is that the pumpkin that you're doing now? No, this is Schwartz beer Ooh. from Covered Bridge. That was the mm. coffee chocolatey one. Yes. Are you going to sneak in on the tasting anyways, even though... Just have a little, little juice. <laughs> a little bit. I like Covered Bridge. We had this one um, when we were at the... on the Blue Brew Donkey Tour. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. So good. Oh, wow. I came in at the right time. <laughs> you sure did. Yeah. Perfect. <laughs> Um, we had this one? Yeah? Yes, we had that one. That was one of the samples that we had. Is that ever delicious? Mm -hmm. The Covered Bridge has delicious beer. All of their beers are very good. So they're in Stittsville. I don't think I said that. They're in Stittsville. Mm -hmm. Just outside of Ottawa. Well, right at the no. border of... Uh, Carpins? Of uh, Canada. Oh. So as soon as you leave Canada, it's like, boom. Near there. Right there. Yeah. Where all the strip malls are? Or a little past I'm there. not really sure where it was. 
I've only been there. I've only been there. Um, I think I've been there three times, two two times on a brew donkey tour, and then once um, just to pick up beer. But uh, I'm going back. That's well, my thing. Well, nice to see you. Thanks for yes, visiting, thank Daniel. You. I've had to visit. Well, I feel out of place. I don't have a bean hat on. Well. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, so yeah, pumpkin beer is the next one. So every it's a love hate. Some people love pumpkin things. Other people just hate it with everything in them. Um, but I thought I, I had to include one of them just because. Just because. It's October. It's, it's October Halloween it's, season. And yeah, so this covers this. I'd say this one covers a lot of boxes here. So we got Halloween theme. We've got uh, the pumpkin beer. We've got Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. Um, and if you don't like pumpkin beer, it's. Oh, I thought it was 10% for some reason. I guess it's 6%. I don't know why I thought it was 10. I was going to say, that, at least it's high percentage, Vintage. but it's only six. <laughs> Maybe I was looking at, I was looking at the wrong tasting notes, I think, when I was um, looking at it earlier online. Anyways, it's a nice color as well. It's, so theater of madness, strong beer brewed with pumpkin and spices. So I know it was brewed with cinnamon and ginger and uh, nutmeg. Nutmeg, maybe. Allspice. Mm. Allspice, not nutmeg. Mm -hmm. mm. That's nice. That's actually really good. <laughs> actually, yeah. <laughs> I'm shocked. Yeah, I wasn't sure. Um, I'm a. I, I'm a. I don't know if I like pumpkin or not kind of person. So I do sometimes love I like, pie, sometimes though. I don't. Oh, I love pumpkin pie. I know. Pumpkin in my coffee, no thanks. No. Um, but this is really nice. It's not sweet. Like a lot of the beers, the pumpkin beers are too sweet, I find. Mm -hmm. and, um, yeah. But this one's really well balanced and it's very it's subtle. subtle. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's not I'm not in overbearing. Your face. Yeah. Maybe because it is a lager. Mm. I don't know. I like it. I do too. Well, um, yeah, so these were the beers for the October version of the October um, Beer Club. Your bags are ready. Come pick them up, drink them, enjoy. and uh, enjoy them. Yeah. Um, anyways, let's cheers, Kelly, one more time. Happy birthday. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you for having me. <laughs> and we'll see you next month. Cheers.